Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see a great new line of makeup. It's called IQ Beauty and it's by a great makeup artist in LA. Her name is Frederique Grillit and she does the makeup for movie stars and actresses when they want that young, glowing, fresh face looked. And I have the makeup on today and it really does look like real skin which I really, really like. She was kind enough to send it to me to try out for you all, and it really does get rid of that cakey foundation look that we ladies of a certain age can get sometimes, and it just leaves you with a fresh, glowing, kind of shiny looking skin, which looks young and dewy. I'll be showing you how I created this makeup in just a moment, but first, if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to learn more about youthing techniques, I like that name instead of anti-aging youthing techniques, then please subscribe and click that little bell. That way you'll be notified of my future videos. Now to show you how to create this look, I'll take off all my makeup except my eye makeup and we'll get started. Okay, let's get down to this and we'll start with this wonderful little foundation and it is called the IQ Beauty Sheer Activity Base and this is how it all started. I saw another YouTuber demonstrate this and I loved it because it seems like in terms of my foundation, it seems to be looking pastier and cakier as I get a little more grown up, shall we say. So I really liked this one because it is a very skin-like looking foundation. It's probably similar to a CC cream. I'm not sure that she calls it that, but it is really, really a nice skin-like foundation. And I wore it to work a couple of days ago, and a couple of the younger women there said, what is on your skin? Your skin looks beautiful today. Actually, they didn't say what is on my skin. They just said, your skin looks really good today. And I said, well, I am wearing a new makeup. And this is the new makeup. Now that is how that foundation looks, and as you can tell, it just adds a very, very glowing look to your skin. It's not pasty or cakey like a traditional foundation. It's just nice and light. I think this would be a perfect makeup to wear on a Saturday morning when you got up and you just wanted to throw something together quickly and just look like you jumped out of bed and just look like you had clear, healthy skin. Now this is another of her products that I really love, and this is her concealer, and this is a great little concealer. You just take this and dab it onto your finger and just kind of warm it up there. And Frederic says to use your ring finger because she says that has the most surface area. And see how that just totally covers things there? Frederique says you should really stay on the inner portion of your eye because that is where the darkness is. I do have darkness right here because I do have my Mohs incision that I'm still wrestling with. I do put a little bit on the outside though. She says you really shouldn't do this because it emphasizes there. However, I have a couple of big blue veins that go on the outside of my eyes and so I do need to cover those up. And I like this concealer because not only does it conceal very, very nicely, but it also gives a brightened look under your eyes, which I really like. And in fact, with other concealers, I've had a problem in that I find them to match my skin, but when I try to go just a tad bit lighter, they just don't look that good. And I really like this, how it's brightened up my under eyes. Put a little under my chin here. I have a little divot between my lip and my chin. I've always had that. Long ago when I was in TV, there was a makeup artist that came in and I said, is my chin weird? And she says, yes, it is weird. <laughs> Good information to know. I think I'll put a little here. Now I always like to set my under eye concealer, so I'm going to go in with this little Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm not sure that Frederic really uses this kind of thing. However, I like it. I have oily skin. And that is one thing about this makeup even. If you have oily skin, you may need to powder it down and you may need to use a primer, which I actually did use a primer. I never apply foundation of any type without a primer. But even though I used a primer, you can still see that this sheer activity base gave me a very nice glowing look. And I should have done this before I applied the powder, but I'm going to add a little of this sheer activity glow, which is a wonderful little illuminator. It just comes out like that. Just kind of blot that down just gives you a little bit of a glow. I like to use it on the tops of my cheeks, my cheekbones, and my cheeks. Then I really like to use it like on shoulders. If you're wearing an off-the-shoulder top, see it just gives you a little bit of a glow, which just looks healthy. And I kind of think it blends your face in better with your body, because you've got this beautiful glowing skin with this makeup, and you kind of want your body to look glowing too. I think I'll add a little down here. That could be dangerous, girls. Sometimes their decollete is not the best thing to be emphasized. But I do also like to emphasize these bones down here. See, just a little bit of a glow. So I got my glow going. 
Now I'm going to go in and use a little bit of her lip stain, which is very, very quick. It's called IQ Flight, and I don't know why it's called IQ Flight, but I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this pink. Go ahead and use that ring finger that she mentioned. Just going to dab it over my lips. Ooh, pretty. That's a very nude looking lip that blends in nicely with the rest of the makeup. And I'm going to go in and do a little accent here. Just to kind of plump up the center of that lip. Ooh, pretty. Maybe a little more. When in doubt, apply more. <laughs> That's pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this gloss. That just gives you a nice, natural looking lip. Now I'm going to finish up with a little bit of this IQ Beauty, of course it's called, Face Glow Bronze Blusher. And it is a cream, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with my finger. I think I'll, I'll use my second finger here. Just kind of warm it up in your hands and pat it on, on the apples of your cheeks, she says, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That is a very, very natural looking blush. Very pretty. Well, that's the finished look. And as you can tell, it's very, very natural and glowing looking. In fact, I feel like my skin looks just like my skin, but a little bit better. Well, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That just notifies you of my future videos so you don't miss anything on my channel. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. Today is no exception. And I'm going to go in with this Life Loves You card deck from Louise Hay. Let's see what God has in store for us today. Oh, this is so good. I release the need to control my life. I release the need to control my life. Okay, God, you're working with me today. What you control the most causes you the most pain. Ouch. Breathe in, breathe out, and let go of trying to control your life. <sighs> Ladies, this is a fabulous card, and what I loved is a new idea that I didn't have before. What you control the most causes you pain. And in my case, that is probably my children's happiness, because even though they're young men, they're 30 and 34, I worry about their happiness, and that is nothing I can control. So ladies, just for today, as we're going through our days, the minute we start to try to control something that's really none of our business, let's let it go, give it to God, and have a great day and a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.